Welcome to the Canadian Center for Electron Microscopy's instructional video series. In this video, research associate Chris Butcher will be demonstrating how to use the auto functions on one of the CCEM's scanning electron microscopes, the Joel 6610 low vacuum. Now here it's nice you can go up and down to magnification by just uh, clicking here. Or you can go to set magnifications, which can be useful. 30 times magnification is actually the lowest you can go at a working distance of 10. You'll see here that we see the final aperture and actually the hole through the back scattered detector at the edges. Now this doesn't look like it's very evenly illuminated, so if this happens you need to contact the uh, technician because we have to adjust the gun to get it properly centered or it might involve adjusting the aperture as well. So adjusting the gun and the aperture is not done for basic sort of users. Uh, we'll show you that when uh, you're more advanced. So we do have autofocus. The problem with autofocus is it doesn't always work. Um, you may find that it actually goes all blurry. It does. We are sometimes successful and it does work, which is good. But it is available there uh, to do adjustment things. There's also autostigmation, which is sometimes useful, uh, which it, you don't have to uh, play around with stigmation as much. Uh, it seems to have more success being adjusted than autofocus. And you'll also see that there are some other controls we can do here. Uh, for instance, we can reset the stigmation back to zero. Uh, if we uh, run into problems with adjusting the stigmation too much, so if we put the stigmation uh, to a sort of blurry setting, we can uh, reset it back to zero and you'll see it comes back. So if you do have an image that's charging, you will get more stigmation. So one of the things you should do at the beginning of your session is a lens reset. Because we have magnetic lenses, uh, over time they will build up a charge, and we need to get rid of this charge by turning off and back on again the lenses. And that's what lens reset does. And if it goes out of focus, you know you needed to do it. So uh, this now needs to be refocused again, and we probably have to do a little bit of uh, adjustment of the stigmators in order to get it back into a, a nice clear image. 